Okay, hello, this is the fourth tutorial I'm doing for the application for T-Computer. Um, you know, it lets you program in BASIC, it's for 3DS and DSi, although most of you should already know this. And it's made by Smileyboom, thank you for this wonderful ad. Now, in this video, I kind of just felt obligated to put a video out, you know, I've been very busy recently. You might not see a whole lot of videos in the next couple of days, in fact, maybe none. But, in this video, I'm going to do something, I'm just going to do cover one command, but it's very, very useful and can... Be, you know, there's a whole bunch of possibilities for it. It's the load gate command. I'm just gonna go right and click that right program. Um, locate command, as some of you might have already guessed, it lets you position characters on different parts of the screen. Because the screen is, you know, it's just a grid. X axis, Y axis. X axis is, you know, a sense as you go this way. Y axis in this version is sense as you go down. And the max, there is a maximum amount of spaces, you know, in each thing before it will start looking for space and, you know, go down a line. For X, that is, thir you can go 31 spaces this way without it looking for more space below. For Y, that would be 22. And now to prove myself correct, and also demonstrate how to do this, I'm going to make a program. So whenever you're doing something with locate, it would probably be smart to clear the console screen first so nothing conflicts with each other. Like earlier, I was testing this, and with the whole, you know, it said Smog version 2.2, that was messing it up a little bit. So, yeah, that's probably a smart thing to do. Now, click the console. Now, I'm just going to go right to locate. So, locate. You can go, I'm just going to do, yeah, like I said before, x is 30, x, max for x is 31, and max for y is 32. So, I'm just going to put those values in. You put in like you normally would, x, y. And now... Since it's located that part of the screen, all you have to do is do the print command, it'll just, and it'll display something over there. So you'll print H, because H is my favorite letter. <laughs> now run. See? Yep, I was right. H shows up over here at the coordinates 31, 22. And, um, also, and also um, like I said before, there is a maximum amount of spaces before it will start. It will, you know, go down here to finish printing. I'm going to demonstrate. So, because when you when you locate a coordinate, it, it's going to whenever whatever you print from there, it's going to go this way from there. I think I just said that in a horrible way, but who cares? So, if it you know exceeds that maximum of 32 spaces, it's going to you know go down. I'm going to show you what I mean because I'm not very good at describing things. So high. Watch. See, look H. I I. Does it? Yeah, yeah. It want it want to go for more space below. Now, in order to um. Well, actually, yes, and uh, I'm pretty sure, um, very sure, most of you have looked at the samples that came with the program, or the app, and one of those samples, sample seven, was the little uh, shooter game that really didn't work too well. It was it's even called attempted invention, in the little thingy, and you know. They don't use any sprites or anything like that. They just use characters as the spaceship and stuff. So, what that means is, in, in order to reposition those characters, they use the locate command, but they used variables in locate. So, I'm just going to show you that you can use variables in locate. So, input. <laughs> input. <laughs> variable L. And then input. Uh, I don't know. Q. <laughs> Variable M. For no reason whatsoever. And then locate. Yep, locate. L. M. And obviously you cannot do this with text, so if you put a dollar sign in there somewhere, you are wrong completely. <laughs> Once it locates that, you would just print. Print. I don't know, whatever you want. I'm just going to do high. So we print high when it gets there. Nope. Oh, whatever. And there we go. So, run. Six. Three. I mean, true. Whatever. And see, it goes up there. I think it... Um, yeah, I forgot to put in the clear screen thing, but okay. Alright, and I'm going to say now, some of you have been, you know, wondering or wanting me to do more videos. Because actually I've only got one guy who's going, more, more, more. <laughs> but, um, 
as far as other videos go, like I said, I'm pretty busy. The next video will probably be random stuff I have not taught you that are not necessarily more advanced than what I'm teaching you right now, but stuff like system variables, how to make a clock, etc., etc. The next series video I make will hopefully, uh, you know, I, I'm aiming to do something that controls, you know, like I just talked about, that you can actually control something moving on the screen with the D-pad or whatever, you know, like a little box that would use use variables in the locate command. But, alright, that's all I have for you now. I don't know when stuff like that will get out. It's like I said, busy, busy life. <laughs> Just that end of summer for me, and there's a whole lot of stuff I gotta get done. But, alright, bye.